Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is Serendipitous Discovery, a design uh, uh, by uh, Mike Wood based on my uh, discussion puzzle. So you may remember my discussion puzzle which has uh, all these magnets that are moving around and that are uh, uh, switching from uh, position to position. You just saw the red one pop in here and when we make the opening the green one pops in there, so it's magnetic. And when Mike Wood made uh, his replica, which is uh, this one, uh, actually he made some mistakes, or, uh, well, serendipitous mistakes, when making the replica. His uh, first, uh, well, sort of mistake was that um, he put some of the discs upside down. So what he discovered is that some discs hop in one direction, while the upside down discs hop in the other direction. And another uh, change that he made was we have now one, two, three, four openings instead of just one opening as in the original design. And uh, Mike's uh, changes make the puzzle much more interesting because suddenly you uh, have to uh, take care that when you're manipulating something at one point that uh, not accidentally something uh, switches at the other point. And also uh, pieces can move in multiple directions. So um, will the blue one go, ah, suddenly the blue one goes up. So um, the puzzle becomes much more confusing. However, there was also a problem with Mike's design because when you just start playing it can get into states where it's blocked, like a black hole. Um, a piece wants to go from here to there, the other piece wants to go in that direction, everything is blocked and you can't move anything uh, further. It also had another flaw that is uh, if you want to, uh, um, uh, well, sort of semi-cheat, you can uh, put uh, a piece, uh, a rotor midway uh, it, like this and then you uh, don't have the risk that a piece accidentally moves in there. And this was also um, a problem with my uh, original design where you can uh, uh, make it easier for yourself by just putting uh, a rotor midway. So I uh, uh, combined all these insights in the new uh, design serendipitous discovery. First of all, at the back side, um, we made an anti-cheat anti feature because uh, if one piece is, is in a midway position, like the yellow one, you cannot rotate green or blue. Obviously you can rotate uh, 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 red because it's there. But uh, when uh, uh, green or blue is in a midway position, all the others are blocked. So this way um, I made it more difficult. Another thing that uh, I did is of course uh, copying the uh, four openings from uh, Mike's design. So um, it's now it has the same di difficulty that when you're playing here, suddenly something moves there. And finally I made the colors consistent. So all the blue uh, tokens are magnetized in one direction and all the yellow, green and red tokens are magnetized in the other direction. So uh, blue is moving this way and all the other colors are moving in that direction. And I think that uh, by uh, this approach I've also solved the problem of the black holes. So I believe that uh, this puzzle has no states wherein you're blocked, that no further moves are possible. However, I don't have a proof for that. And that will be uh, my question to you. Um, so with only five tokens magnetized in one way and all the other tokens magnetized in another way, can you prove that the puzzle will never be blocked? Thank you for watching.